alcoholics in our previous video what we had learned we had learned the concept of what we had learned the concept of total cost now we have understood ki total cost ka kya formula hota if you want to calculate total cost so you need to have tfc and tvc theek hai the formula for total cost was is total cost equals to tfc plus tvc now you all know ki if there is any fluctuation in the total cost it is solely because of total variable cost because the tfc remains constant at all level of output now you all know total cost ho gaya now we will be understanding average cost and marginal cost in this video what do we do all the time we take out notebook pen pencil scale eraser and we get started so let's get started okay first thing average cost average cost is what the per unit cost explains the relationship between cost and output in more realistic manner here are many many keywords which you need to understand first thing the per unit explains the per unit cost explains per unit is the keyword first keyword second thing the relationship between cost and output in a more realistic manner a manner which is more realistic ki it is not like theoretical something but it is more it has more real based application that is what the meaning of realistic manner is okay it is per unit cost per unit cost means ki har ek level of output pe aapka kitna cost lag raha hai that is what is explained by average cost okay so it is per unit cost which explains the relationship between cost and output now you all are producers so what you all need to do you need to think from a producer's perspective so pull up your what producer sleeves up and understand this okay so per unit cost explains the relationship between cost and output in a more realistic manner now under this what do we learn we learn three kinds of per unit cost and these three kinds are average fixed cost name understand the name okay second thing average cost average total cost or average cost okay there is one thing this is average variable cost okay average fixed cost average variable cost average total cost or average cost this these things are what we are going to understand under this heading average cost so basically har ek level of output pe aapka kya cost hoga in cheezon ke bare mein hi hum baat kare wording se itni sari terms se we do not need to get ki itna sara concept itni sari cheeze kya hogi actually you don't need to do that let's understand this one by one first thing to understand is average fixed cost that is your afc so what is afc average fixed cost refers to the per unit fixed cost of production per unit fixed fixed is what fixed is something that does not change so average fixed cost refers to the per unit fixed cost of production it is calculated afc equal to tfc by q so sari cheeze dekhna hum tfc se nikalenge theek hai afc afc se kya tfc divided by output theek hai so afc ko kaise nikalte hain hum log the formula is you divide tfc with output you get afc theek hai लास्ट में इन द लास्ट वेन वी विल बी क्लोजिंग दिस टॉपिक हम सारे फॉर्मूलाज एक जगह पे लिख लेंगे एंड तब आपको पता चल जाएगा कि इट इज नॉट वेरी डिफिकल्ट और बहुत सारी चीजें नहीं है जो हमें याद रखनी है हमें बस एक छोटी सी चीज याद रखनी थी कि टी एफ सी क्या होता था ठीक है टी एफ सी ए एफ सी निकालना है तो हमने टी एफ सी को आउटपुट से डिवाइड कर दिया ठीक है दैट इज हाउ यू गेट ए एफ सी मूविंग फॉरवर्ड दिस इज द स्केड्यूल एंड दिस इज द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दैट पर हम इसे फिल करते और हम अभी अपन लोग सब मिलके इसको एक्चुअली निकाल के देखते हैं कि ए कैसे निकलेगा फ्रॉम टी एफ सी राइट सो मान लो कि आपका आउटपुट अभी जीरो है तो टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट यू ऑल नो इन रिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द आउटपुट यू हैव टू बेयर दैट कॉस्ट सो लेट्स टेक ट्वेल्व ठीक है टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट है ट्वेल्व आउटपुट बढ़ गया हमारा वन हो गया ठीक है तो भी टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट डज इट चेंज 
नो इट डज नॉट सो ये भी ट्वेल्व हो गई उसके बाद टू थ्री फोर फाइव आउटपुट इज इंक्रीजिंग वन यूनिट टू यूनिट थ्री यूनिट फोर टू फाइव यूनिट्स ओके टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट रिमेन्स द सेम दैट इज ट्वेल्व 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 ओके इफ वी ड्रॉ दिस लाइन सो दैट मिक्स नाउ ओके वी ड्रॉ इट Now you have both the things. You have the output and you have the TFC. Output TFC. You can see the output is increasing, but the total cost, fixed cost, is twelve, 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 twelve at each level of output because TFC does not change with increasing level of output. Okay, so TFC is twelve here. Now AFC का formula क्या है? AFC is TFC. TFC यहाँ पे क्या है? Twelve divided by output. Output कितना है? Zero. So anything which is divided by zero is what is infinity, right? Anything when you divide any number with zero, you always get infinity. Okay, so that is how this is. This one is infinity. Now, twelve divided by one, you get twelve. Twelve divided by two, you get six. Twelve. You get four. You get three, and twelve divided by five. You get somewhat around two point four zero. Okay, so this is how we have calculated AFC. We have calculated AFC from total fixed cost and output. Okay. First thing you need to remember the formula. Okay, the formula for AFC. The formula for AFC is what is TFC divided by output. Okay, so we have TFC, we have output. We have put both the things here, and then we have solved this. This is a point. Doesn't look like one, but two. It is two point four zero. Okay, so this is how we have calculated AFC. Now, what is written here? AFC falls with rising output because Constant TFC is divided by increasing output. Here, what you can see, here it I have written the interpretation of this. Let's read line by line. Okay, AFC falls with rising output. AFC falls with rising output. First thing, AFC falls with rising output. AFC is falling. Bara, stay, char, teen, two point four zero. AFC is falling. If you do not see here, so what you can see from this slide key. Output is increasing, but you can see the AFC is falling. Q, why it is falling? Because constant TFC is divided by increasing output. This is constant, right? It is twelve, 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 twelve. But your output is increasing, okay? And that is why your AFC is falling. This is what is the meaning of this schedule. And I hope you all have understood that AFC how to remove it. Okay, memorize. और अंडरस्टैंड ए एफ सी इक्वल्स टू टी एफ सी डिवाइडेड बाई क्यू ऐसी ए बी सी का भी फॉर्मूला है एंड इट इज वेरी इजी ओके नाउ वी नीड टू ड्रॉ दिस ग्राफ एंड हियर वॉट इज बेसिकली हैपनिंग वी आर टेकिंग द पुराना वाला स्केड्यूल एंड वी आर ड्रॉइंग इट हियर ओके सो योर आउटपुट वॉज जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स बाय नाउ यू ऑल मस्ट हैव अंडरस्टोड इट मेरी वेरी नाइसली नाउ यू ऑल कैन से विथ मी यहाँ टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट में क्या आएगा इट विल रिमेन सेम इट विल बी ट्वेल्व 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 एंड ट्वेल्व ठीक है अब यहाँ पे यू कैन पॉज दिस वीडियो और यू कैन सॉल्व मोर फास्टर देन आई एम सॉल्विंग राइट सो Many of you must have done that. So AFC twelve divided by zero, it goes infinity. Twelve divided by one, it goes twelve. It goes six. It goes three.
this you all must have solved it right before i had done it okay nothing to worry let's draw this graph here abhi hum log banayenge afc ka graph so afc is what afc shows the relationship between cost and output so we take afc here and we take output here okay this is the origin now your afc is a rectangular hyperbola it looks something like this okay this is your afc okay so afc is what it is rectangular hyperbola and it is downward sloping you all can see it is not upward sloping right it is not like this or it does not go like this upwards it is downward sloping because whenever your output is increasing okay whenever your output is increasing you can see the afc is decreasing theek hai jab aapka output kam tha ओके द वन था तो ए एफ सी मान लो इट इज समेर हियर ट्वेल्व तो इट इज इंक्रीजिंग बट एज योर आउटपुट इज इंक्रीजिंग फ्रॉम वन टू 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 थ्री टू फोर योर ए एफ सी इज फॉलोइंग एंड वाई इट इज फॉलोइंग वाई इज ए एफ सी फॉलोइंग ए एफ सी इज फॉलोइंग बिकॉज द इंक्रीजिंग आउटपुट इज डिवाइडेड बाई कॉन्स्टेंट टी एफ सी ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ ए एफ सी इज a uh, rectangular hyperbola so let's draw this here once again what do we take here afc we take here output this is the origin point a rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola it looks like this so afc curve is a rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola so you need to remember the shape okay it is a rectangular hyperbola afc curve slopes downward you can see it slopes downward like this okay afc falls with an increase in output afc falls with increase in output i hope this is clear to all of you okay let's move further and let's understand ki what is the property of afc so afc does not touch any of the axes it does not touch neither y axis nor x axis never touches x uh, x axis as tfc cannot be zero so you know tfc total fixed cost it was what it was like this your tfc was like this so it is a straight line so it cannot never it never touches x axis because your tfc can never be zero it never touches y axis because at zero level of output at zero level of output tfc is a positive value and any positive positive value that is divided by 0 you all know any positive value abhi hamare case mein 12 tha when it is divided by 0 it gives us infinity theek hai to it is so never touches x axis ko kyun nahi touch karta because tfc cannot be zero it never touches y axis because at zero level of output tfc is a positive number and any positive value which will be divided by 0 will be infinite value now one thing to remember about afc tfc can never be zero you all know this okay you have to even if the output is zero you have to bear some cost so that is why your tfc will always 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 have some of the value okay so tfc can never be zero to yahan pe it never touches y axis never touches x axis because tfc will always be a positive number number you cannot say माइनस वन रुपीज दे रहा है नो ठीक है यू कैन बारह वन टू दिस कैन बी योर द वैल्यूएशन ओके बट इट कैन नॉट बी अ नेगेटिव नंबर सो एनी पॉजिटिव नंबर डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो गिवस ऑलवेज एन इन्फेनाइट वैल्यू सो आई होप ए एफ सी दैट वॉज योर एवरेज फिक्सड कॉज इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू